And we were talking about it and we're like, think about how long it would have taken for us to even realize she was missing if she had gone missing. Because we're at the fork in the trail. He and I, if she had kept going ahead and we didn't catch up with her, he and I would have gone to the car thinking that she was ahead of us. She wasn't. So we would have had to go back, check the other trail thinking maybe she took a wrong turn. And how long would it have been before we even figured out she was missing? Hours, for sure. Yeah. Hours, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, it was close. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, you just... I mean, it it probably wasn't close, but it was a really, really weird situation. And, like, there are other explanations for the birds being quiet, but it was winter. Like, maybe there was a mountain lion. I guess that's a close call. But a bear would be hibernating. Right. I guess they don't hibernate. I don't know if do mountain lions hibernate. I don't know. I mean, bears don't actually hibernate, like, the whole time either, though. They come out and go back and stuff. I guess that's the end of winter if they had to come out. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, mountain lions do not hibernate. So, I mean, maybe a mountain lion, but right. I don't even know. I just think the... But we didn't hear anything. I mean, you wouldn't hear it unless it, like, growled. Well, you'd hear it in the snow. Would you? I guess. I thought they were pretty quiet. I don't know. Probably not with our crunch, 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 crunch. Yeah, and like you said, you were talking for a lot of it before you noticed. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like, I mean, a mountain lion maybe or something like that. Maybe a moose. Moose are pretty loud, though. moose? And they're not predators. Well, I don't think the birds would stop for a moose. I mean, they're pretty aggressive, but. Yeah, but they're grazing animals. Right, yeah, why would the birds be quiet? I feel like something was stalking you guys. And then it thought it had a chance when you're, you guys split up. Yeah, like, what are the odds he finds the basket, like, the exact moment right. that I'm like, okay, everyone, stop right now. Right, like, I think if your mom had gone... <laughs> A little bit further and out of your sight like something I feel like something would have happened for sure I know I mean it's hard to know and like I kind of it was kind of like as a joke too but there's a reason yeah. I said it like oh ha 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 but also like wait a right. second right also here. I feel like it was a possibility yeah and here's the thing we were probably I'm actually gonna check Presque Isle to Lake Superior. Presque Isle. Oh, Presque Isle to Lake Superior. Presque Isle. I can't type. Directions. <laughs> okay, that's it's not gonna tell me. What are you looking for? I was trying to see how far we were from Lake Superior. Not very far, maybe forty miles at the most. Because oh. we drove up there the next day, so we're not far from Lake Superior. A large body of water. Right. I looked this up. I looked up what kind of rocks are in the ground there would you guess that it's granite i mean i guess granite (laughs) deposits now now that you're saying that (laughs) oh no (laughs) and yep and it's not right near but it's not super far from chiquamagon national forest Mm. either like again Maybe an hour, hour and a half. And it's really, really, like, isolated up there. Like, dirt roads, most. Anything that's not a county road or a state road is dirt. 
pretty yeah. much. And then the stars up there are not. Oh, yeah. You just... I don't know for sure because I also have visual snow, but if I just... You stare up and it's, mm -hmm. like, all stars. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, yeah. I feel like... So... You, yeah. I think your mom was going to go missing. I know. And we would have just said, oh, Lori, she's <laughs> so silly. She just walked in the wrong direction. Right. Better go find her. She's probably tired. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was just waiting for her to be out of sight. Because the yeah. fact that the birds was... start up right when you're, like, back together. I know. I know. That was the weird yeah. part. Like, whatever it was decided, like, oh, I missed my chance. Like, move on. Right. Oh, it's yeah. not going to happen. Ugh. Ugh. Bigfoot. What do you, I mean, what do you think it is? A lot of people think it's Bigfoot. It's no coincidence that David Polites is a, was a Bigfoot yeah. guy. Right. I think Les Stroud's really into Bigfoot. Like, we've discussed Bigfoot <laughs> yeah. briefly. Yeah, we have a whole episode. But why would Bigfoot want people? Yeah, that is kind of weird. Unless it's like eating them. Source of food, I guess. But yeah, but when they find the bodies, right. they're not. And aren't I mean there are some cases too that like, especially the children, right? Like if they are found alive, they were like protected or something. Yeah, like unharmed. Yeah. Like n they're never seriously date like injured. And this makes me think of I didn't cover this one, but there's that one story, I think it's called Paula's Light or something like that, where the lady's in her deer stand and she takes a picture yeah. and it's like on her camera, it's not the right resolution for her camera. It's all like distorted. Yeah. Dude, that maybe we should talk about that one. <laughs> like I, I don't know, know if it'd I be long look it up for its own episode. But. I can't even Right. Well, we can talk about it now. I don't have any research on it, but if I remember correctly, there was, like, she saw something in the woods. Like, she saw something, and that made her take the picture, right? Yeah, she... So, I remember a lot of the stories. She was sitting there, you know, waiting for deer or whatever to hunt. Like, you just sit there and wait and look. And she noticed, like, a kind of... I don't know how far away, but, like, not super far away, but she saw kind of how, like, a light would be bending, you know? Like, like if something... Yeah, like a refraction yeah, Right, of. she saw, like, kind of an outline of something, that if it's invisible or refracting light, to just show the trees behind it or whatever, but she could kind of see it moving. She said when it stopped, she could not, like, she could not tell, but it, when it started moving again, she could kind of see the outline of it. <gasps> I, I just got chills. <laughs> I But know. that's what made her, like, look, like, get her phone out and take a picture, and the picture is, like, is really crazy. Because she took pictures, like, multiple pictures, so there are some of just, like, the trees... But, like, in the middle of her taking the picture is, like, this crazy one with, like, a lot of just weird visual of, like, I guess if you took a picture of this thing that reflected light, maybe it would distort it in such a way, but... Yeah. And, yeah, it was... But the picture is so right, weird. Because it was, like... Yeah, like, a resolution or, like, a size that her camera can't even make on her phone. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've seen the picture it, before, but... Are you sure it was Paula? I don't even know what to search. I don't... Lady forest picture. Um, Big f aliens? Yeah, I mean, some people did think it could have been an alien. There's, I mean, there's people who think that Bigfoot 
can choose to be visible or invisible? Like, that's an ability of it? Yeah. Bigfoot is an interdimensional being. Yeah. Oh. Here's a Reddit of it. Which was in Ohio. Lady in... What did you find? What is... I? The Reddit said, did Deer Hunter encounter a cloaked or invisible Bigfoot in Southeast Ohio? And then there's like a... A article linked to that. I'm trying to open it. Ohio woman swears she recorded Bigfoot? No. Dude, get... Can't get this ad off of my fucking... <laughs> Close this ad. Hello. I mean, the picture itself just looks like a her lens is cracked on her mm. screen a little bit, or her lens, her camera lens is cracked. Yeah, but I thought the picture was like a totally different size than her phone can even make or something. Yeah. What the? Where's the picture? I don't know. I know I've seen it. <laughs> We're gonna have to edit <laughs> around this. There, there was no picture in that article. But yeah, that's. Uh oh, this. One? I don't know. Are we done looking for this? I guess. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any other ones? Of missing 411? Yeah. I mean, not off the top of my head. Yeah, me either. That was the only other one, and I couldn't figure out what it was called, and I was like, whatever, I'll just leave it. So I guess we'll just do the. Yeah. And now. Now I'm trying to find. I need it. Alright. 56 minutes on. Nice. Three pages. Well, that's it for this episode. As always, our sources for the episode will be in the description as well as our social media links. We're on Facebook and TikTok under Let's Be Brief, so check us th out there for updates. Also, email us at letsbebriefed at gmail.com if you have ideas on future topics you'd like us to cover. We're always updating our list with topic options, so if we know you're interested, we can bump a topic up the list. Until next time, stay briefed.